Hello and welcome. I'm Anne-Marie from the Yorkshire Centre for Wellbeing. I'm going to be showing you six rounds of Salute to Sun, also known as Surya Namaskara. So this is a practice that we use in my style of yoga, the Seven Spiritual Laws of Yoga, and we normally teach 12 rounds. Today I'll just be showing six. The first two rounds will go very slowly as we learn the form and look at technique so we ensure the practice is safe and also so there are options for everybody and everybody can do this practice there's even a seated version Surya Namaskara is a worship of the sun and the yogis knew that without the sunlight there would be no life on earth so they would practice at sunrise and they had a mantra, one for each asana. There are 12 flowing movements. And the final two rounds, I will be saying the mantras. And each mantra begins with Om and finishes with Namaha. Don't worry too much about the middle bit, but if you did want to know and learn the full mantra and you can't quite hear it, you could have a look in this book here the Seven Spiritual Laws of Yoga book, which is the book we recommend to our students. Or you could get the Satinanda book, Asana, Pranayama, Mudra and Banda. And again, you'll see in both of these books, this one written by Deepak Chopra, one of my teachers, you'll see the mantras written out. And also you'll see the meaning of them. So this reminds us that Surya Namaskara is much more than a physical practice. It's a worship, a worship of the divine, the universe. And if you choose to practice in that way and dedicate your practice, then that's a really beautiful thing to do. We encourage all of our students to practice every day as there are so many benefits. As we practice with the breath and in flow, the heart rate increases. So it's a healthy, safe, aerobic workout for the heart. And so of course for the lungs, as we increase our breath and we bring in more prana, more energy to the body. We also work every major muscle of your body. And in addition, as we practice, first of all, stepping back with the right leg and then the left leg, we balance the right and left side of the brain. So it's a wonderful practice to help bring calmness and clarity to the mind. And if you find perhaps you can't sleep easily at night, if you get out of bed and do enough rounds until you are yawning, you will almost invariably go back to sleep. If you would like to increase your aerobic capacity, you probably will need to do about 20 rounds to do um, your 20 minutes suggested amount of aerobic activity for the day. So first two rounds slow, then first two rounds done with the breath and I'll be um, letting you know when to breathe and when to hold your breath and then the final two rounds with mantra and the mantra becomes the breath and it also helps us with our timing and with our flow. I'm not showing you the seated version today, but that is possible. So you can, if you look in your Seven Spiritual Laws of Yoga book, you can see the seated version. So we're going to come onto our mat now. And we come to the front of our mat with our hands in Namaste, shoulders back and down, chin retracts. Take a moment to check the form, so wiggle out your toes, feel yourself firmly planted, pull up the fronts of your thighs and draw upon your bandas. We have Mula Band, Pelvic Lock and Udiya Band at the navel. Roll the shoulders back, retract the chin and elevate the crown to the sky. Take some full deep yogic belly breaths. And practicing outside, of course, is a beautiful thing. And if you can practice at sunrise, even better. Inhale, sky reaching pose. Plant your feet firmly and looking up if that's appropriate for your neck. 
adding in a slight back bend if you feel you could. Exhale, dive forward. If you have a sore back, roll down. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, drop the head. In, look forward. Exhale, drop the head. Slightly soft the knees, hold on the elbows, and we dangle here. So these first two rounds to learn form, but also to warm up. Keep breathing. Could you deepen that stretch? Both hands to the mat, look forward on the in. Exhale, drop the head. Right leg steps back, a big step back. Knee to mat. If you have a knee issue, you could come into high lunge or warrior one. Pressing into your right hip, checking your form, that you can see your left big toe, reaching up with both arms and coming into crescent moon, adding in a back bend if that feels appropriate to your body. Exhale, down face dog. Here we walk the dog, lifting one heel then the other. The feet are parallel and hip width. If you have a shoulder injury or a wrist injury, injury you may prefer to rest in child pose here. Bend the knees, lift the hips. So we have the intention to find the length in the back. Roll the shoulders, keep breathing, full deep breaths. Look at your toes. Your second toe should be aligned with the side of the mat. If you have the length in your back, only then is it wise to drop the heels. Keep breathing. Down face dog, find your length, a wonderful stretch for your back, your legs, your whole body. Both knees to the mat, roll the shoulders back in the sockets, chin breastbone to the floor, this is known as eight limbs, glide through and come into your version of cobra, elbows against your waist, shoulders down. Exhale, bend the knees, walk the feet fractionally forward and moving into down face dog. This time, look at your knees. If you find your knees are rolling in, place a little more weight on the base of your little toe. Again, four deep breaths. Draw up on Mula Band and Udiya Band to protect the spine. Look ahead, right leg swings through. If it doesn't come through easily, you can pick up your ankle and bring it through. Pressing now into your left hip, roll the shoulders, reach for the sky, and coming into crescent moon, making the shape of the crescent moon to our ability. Keep breathing. Exhale, hands to foot pose. Inhale, sky reaching. Plant the feel, feet so you feel grounded, adding in a back bend. Coming back into namaste. Deep breaths. Again, slowly. Inhale, sky reaching. Exhale, hands to foot pose. Soften the knees. A really good idea in your first couple of rounds is to massage your body. So you can hit your glutes because they're quite strong, big muscles. Uh, but never hit any other part of the body. But you can rub. And you can rub and massage and find the uncomfy tight spots and just release into those mus mu muscles. And then hanging forward again. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, drop the head. Inhale, big step back with the left leg. Crescent moon. If you prefer, you can use prayer position for your arms. Doesn't matter. Exhale. <laughs> down face dog. The second round we're going to swivel on the feet like so. You may even like to make it stronger. If you have a stronger practice you can come into side plank. If that feels too strong put one knee to the floor. So just finding your own way in and even you can just Come into threading the needle on your knees now. So you could be on your knees, you could be in plank, side plank, whichever position suits you the best. Moving back into down face dog, pulling up your kneecaps, pulling up in your bandas, breathing deeply, holding your position, 
and then drawing through into plank pose. Again, a little stronger. Plank pose feels too strong. Place your knees to the floor, also known as chaturanga. So we can come down in chaturanga if we wish. Slide your legs backwards and coming back into cobra. Elbows against your waist, shoulders down. Exhale, down, face dog. Walk your feet forward and lift the hips. Pull up the kneecaps, breathe deeply. Just breathe and surrender to the pose. Look forward, swing the left leg through now. Crescent moon. Keep breathing, pressing into your right hip. Hands to foot pose. Deepen your stretch if you can. Breathe deeply. Sky reaching pose. Hips over knees, knees over ankles and adding in a back bend to your capacity. Back into Namaste. Now we flow with the breath. Inhale, sky reaching. Exhale, hands to foot. Inhale, right leg steps back. Exhale, down face dog or child pose. Inhale, chaturanga or eight limbs, cobra. Exhale, down face dog. Inhale, right leg. Crescent moon. Exhale, hands to foot pose. Inhale, sky reaching. Breathe deeply. Inhale. Exhale, hands to foot. Inhale, left leg steps back. Crescent moon. Exhale, down face dog. Inhale, chaturanga, all eight limbs glide through and hold this position, hold the breath. Exhale, down face dog. Inhale, left leg, crescent moon. Exhale, hands to foot pose. Inhale, sky reaching. Breathe deeply. Two rounds with mantra. Om Mitraya Namaha Om Ravaya Namaha Om Surya Namaha Om Banave Namaha Om Kagaya Namaha Om Pushne Namaha Om Haranya Gabaya Namaha Om Marichie Namaha Om Aditya Namaha Om Savitre Namaha Om Akaya Namaha Om Baskiriya Namaha Om Mitraya Namaha Om Ravaya Namaha Om Surya Namaha Om Banave Namaha Om Kagaya Namaha Om Pushne Namaha Om Haranya Gabaya Namaha Om Marichie Namaha Om Aditya Namaha Om Savitre Namaha Om Akaya Namaha Om Baskiriya Namaha And take a few moments to breathe deeply if you wish, you can continue, but even with six rounds, you will feel the heart rate has elevated. 
You've worked every major muscle of your body and you can stand still for a moment, lift your heart, bring your palms forward in what we call goddess pose. See if you can feel any energy or tingling in your body. And in time, if you look into the dark space in front of your closed eyes, Chirakash, you may find that your mind is quiet, pointed, one pointed and still. Bringing your hands back to your heart in Namaste. Thank you for joining me today. Enjoy the rest of your day.